Well, great morning, everyone. Oh, my goodness. It's uh, just a tragedy at Uvalde. Um, the death count has gone up. 18 children dead and three adults. So my reading yesterday was accurate. It turns out <clears throat> what happened was this kid was not graduating. And that's what I got from the reading that he felt he had no opportunity and uh, yeah, <clears throat> and that was it. He was not graduating, okay? So uh, anyway, I decided to, to uh, excuse me, finishing putting up my stuff on today. <clears throat> um, I decided I was going to throw the cards and do a reading about the people of Uvalde and how they're dealing and you know just a little bit about them and the reading makes total sense so I'm going to show you what came out here let me get these so I can pick them up so what we have in the past that this is a close-knit family community okay makes sense um, we have in the center of it, this tragedy that took place, the uh, wheel, makes sense again, the tragedy that has happened. And the um, challenge is, you know, being hung up with this now. And of course, their lives have changed and they're radically seeing from a different perspective with things now because of what has happened. The foundation is because of this, they are working and wanting to take action. You know, uh, again, they're seeing this. This has happened too many times with too many people, too many families. So they are wanting to take action. Um, <clears throat> again, underneath of it, they're seeing, when it comes to this, we need to take action to change the laws. These are our laws, our values, the things that we hold dear. When it comes to families, they don't want to see another family suffer with this. Um, these laws about the gun laws and things need to be changed. So they're looking at that going forward. They want justice, hanging this up because, you know, again, they want to see this stop. They want to see this, you know, um, they want to see this ended. They want to see these, how can a 18 year old ch kid get a hold of these types of weapons, okay? So they want to see action taken. They are really going to push um, for legislation um, to change the gun laws, okay? Um, so what we have underneath of it, rapidly uh, putting forward these offers, talking about it with others when it comes to these merchants and this drama that's been happening with these you know, gun rights, gun rights. Now, nobody should have the rights to have an AK-47, a weapon of war. That is not, you know, back when they said you have the right to, to arm yourself, protect yourself and your family, they were not talking about AK-47s. They had muskets back then. You know how long it takes to load a musket? Okay, so, 
you know, this is their concern is those that are just out for the money. And, uh, you know, so they are going to um, go out and, and uh, you know, try to get these laws changed because of concern is wanting to take action because this is an abuse for people to have weapons like this is an abuse. They're looking at what actions, they're gonna talk about what actions to go forward. They're going to look for some leadership um, and it has to do with the past things with these children. So they're going to have strength. They're gonna ask for strength from the White House they want to have something done because people are grieving and so they're looking at the path forward and it's time for people to stop walking away from this type of stuff and <clears throat> distancing themselves emotionally uh, from these types of things. So they are going to really um, be advocates for uh, gun reform laws. And yes, there needs to be, you know, how many more of these sh shootings? Like I said, this kid went on a rampage because, like I said, he felt he had no opportunity in life. He wasn't graduating, okay? Opportunity down the toilet. Um, didn't see his his future going forward and uh, just wigged out, okay? Uh, senseless, senseless tragedy. You know, I'm not gonna make it, so I'm gonna take a bunch of people down with me. I'll make my name. <clears throat> if I can't make my name in society one way, I'm gonna do it another way. Um, senseless senseless tragedy so now yeah, they're going to really push for gun reform and it's horrible that it's a tragedy like this but uh you know this is beyond how many of these mass shootings does it take before they're willing to do something um so let's look and see what effect is this going to have? Is this going to have any effect on the powers that be to make changes to these gun laws? Is this going to have an impact to actually make a change? Let's see what we have in the past. We have these um, strong actions. Now, this, I would say, has to do with them standing up for the um, keeping in place through Second Amendment drama the right to have these arms, okay? In the present, we have this is an emotional time, okay? And yes, people are going to be coming together and saying, we need to heal, we need to, to make this better. We need to do something. The challenge is this tower moment, okay? Um, yeah. Challenge is a tower. Now the tower could be this whole thing falling apart because they don't want to do anything, or it could be the final straw that broke the camel's back where they're going to actually move and do. But let's see what we have. Underneath of it, we got those holding, okay? The, the gun activists are going to stand the ground with this nonsense. They do not want to give it up. Above it, we have those wanting to take action, saying it's time. Um, we care for our children. We care for our communities. This has got to end. So what we have between, uh, 
those gun rights advocates holding on. They're going to keep trying to defend that position, defend that nonsense, you know, that we have the right to have the weapons. They're going to try to, to defend it. Between holding on and the tower, we have a strength. So I think that this is a way of... Um, trying to, to get them to move, okay? So between the, the rights and the, the action, we have, this can be the card to hire things, but it's also my card for those of the, you know, MAGA crowd and the, the activists of the gun rights and the ones that are just in that uh, narcissistic thing of, of ego. They're my guns, you're not gonna take them, they're my right to have them and all of that. And on the other side with this, between the strength and the uh, action, we have timing, okay? So this is a real battle that's going to take place with it. Underneath of it, we have, yes, the battle. This is, you know, kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, unfortunately, as usual, very slow going, um, but they say it's time to put an end, end, and we have the repugly uglies. I mean, the ones that continue to, to want to enact this of concern. You know, people have had enough. They've had enough. They're saying it's time to take action. This is heartbreaking. Um, we need to move forward, you know, you need to get your heads out of your rear ends, you know, uh, because it's not always about money and it's not always about your thing. They, we've got the hidden things, things coming to light and wanting justice when it comes because this is an abuse. This is an abuse to have these types of weapons. It's time to move forward and reevaluate things because enough children have died. So we need to take action. So this is something they're going to really start pushing for, advocating for. We've got them on all different levels going forward and say, you need to look deeper you know, forget your dark money and the drama. Somebody needs to stand up, take charge, and put out the truth uh, rather than emotionally walking away, okay? So this affects everyone. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going to, as usual, be a battle, but it looks like that it's getting to be where there will be more Perhaps some more of them actually listening and opening up on this. We've had how many mass shootings? You know, it's just daily, daily, daily occurrence. We had the people killed in Buffalo. We had that uh, Chinese man that went to the Taiwan church. He's all bent out of shape of, of uh, China and Taiwan struggle. And then we have this kid with the... Uh, <clears throat> you know, killing 18 children, okay? And he didn't have one AK-47. He had two in his possession. You know, what's wrong with this picture? So it looks like, yes, this is going to amp it up with them looking at this. Um, too many children have died. Too many times this is happening. And so this may be the straw that broke the camel's back to where they are actually going to look deeper, not saying that they're gonna make major changes, although they need to, but we'll have to see what happens. But they're gonna be pleading with the White House and things as well to, to make some sort of a change. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But 
sad day for the people of Ulvaldi. What a horrible thing. I can't imagine being a parent and you hear there's a shooting and you can't get in, you can't find your child, you can't, you know, you're, you're tied, you can't find out any information. Um, terrible. Now, last night I did see one, they were going to play, uh, I think it was basketball, a basketball game, and the guy just made a statement, got up and walked out. He just, I, we, we can't take this anymore. Um, so it's good that he stood up and he, he said enough is enough. Um, we need more people to stand up rather than these ones you know, saying, but I have a right to my guns. I have, a, you know, having a gun that, that's there to protect your family is one thing, but weapons of war, AK-47s, you're not going to use those when you go out hunting, okay? And you don't need an AK-47 to protect yourself in your home. So this needs to change, and it needs to change now. So I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light to everyone, and we'll see you online.